All right, so back to the Goron Graveyard we go. And even though I do have two bottles, I'll just go ahead and take just one of these. Just because the second thing that we need to unthaw using this doesn't... It's a little far away. You'll be a little pressed for time. So I just like using the bunny hood just because, well, why the hell not? There's, oh my god, they're actually working on something. Oh my god! Oh, I can't even... I have no sword. I was trying to, like, use my sword to, like... Try and stop things, but here, let's move into a Goron real fast. So, if for whatever reason you are a Goron that possesses magic power, you'll be able to get spikes, and uh, it's really fun murdering things in such a way, so. And I just went the complete backwards ass direction, of course I did. Alright, let's not go the wrong way again, shall we? Uh, so I don't think it's, is it this way? I, if this isn't the way, I'm gonna feel really silly. So we're going to be running out of time, and I'm going to have to go for it, and there we go. To that frozen pillow we go! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I'm going to screw that guy. God, what are with these tech tykes, man? They're just hiding in, like, just, like, snowballs. It's like, hey, let's play the game where we just dig into some cold-ass area. Call it good to go. And we'll just pop out when people least expect it. Okay, white wolfos. Why, why you got to be standing over holes like that? I give up! I'm praying to my god! How dare you! So, Goron, incredibly overpowered, what with his power of the butt to kill things with zero remorse. Anyway, we head down here, and we've got ourselves our own little shortcut for spring water. It's like, you know, for as rare as this hot spring water is, it's a surprise nobody knew about this. Or the fact that they let it get frozen over. So we'll deal with that more in another way. Christ, man! You dumb wolfos! God damn it! Um, yeah, good stuff then, I suppose. Let's get out of here. And, okay, you know what? Getting started with your little rolling thing takes a little bit too much time. It's, it's a little unreasonable. How do I have like three hearts of health from that? That is a little unreal. How did I let myself get hurt that much? Anyway, um couple of things we need to do. Let's talk to this man. You're to money? How? You're alive? Everybody seems so surprised. It's like, maybe I just faked my death. Did you guys ever think about that? You guys always look to me to kill giant monsters. You want me to stop natural forces at work? I can't stop a blizzard from happening. This isn't never alone. I mean, we're not a little girl in the tundras of Alaska. Anyway, he's going to ask us if he wants to enter the Goron Shrine. Let's do it. Because I'm not going to cry too much about it. Anyway, all he really does is a Goron Pound. Which is really nice for us. Alright, the door's already open. Cool. Why can't you just, like, wait for me to tell you when to close it? I don't know. But check it out. Yep. This isn't Yoshi's Island. Or Yoshi's New Island at that. Thank God. Oh, it's really depressing that this is, like, next to Yoshi's New Island on my, like, screen. Because I downloaded this. I didn't get this, like... I pre-ordered it physically. <laughs> Majora's Mask 3DS. And, uh... Turns out that, for whatever reason, it was, like... I don't know, snowing in New York or something. So Amazon wasn't able to, you know, do anything about it. But I didn't get it until about a week later. So I just downloaded it. And it was all good. So... No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to... <sighs> Okay, I wanted to curl and then pound. Hey, I do it myself. The pounding in this looks really cool, by the way. I like it a lot. Anyway, small child, why are you sitting on the throne? <laughs> daddy, I'm cold. Oh, Darmy, where's my daddy? Oh, children actors. Those sideburns. <laughs> Aren't you, Darmy? I love how that is his, like, indicator that that is me. It's like, by God, those sideburns are so beautiful. The elder was troubled because he thought you were dead. I'm troubled too. I'm seeing a dead man. So anyway, the elder went, tried to go to Snowhead so he could try and stop natural forces at work. And uh, that was really smart of him. I don't know what it is in Goron's brains where they're just like, eh, that's a good idea. But there's nothing we can do about this. Everyone's going to be crying because they don't know how to change a diaper, so let's leave. I'm done with this place. I'm done. Ugh. I should probably heal up soon, but we'll probably get something soon enough. How many... How much damage do those Wolfoses do? I guess I did take a lot of damage jumping off, and I never did heal from that, but... Check it out. We got ourselves a Goron shop over here. He seems really bored. Like, he gets no business here. It's like... Well, you sell bombs, arrows, and red potions. None of which a Goron can use, except for the red potion. So why would you think this would be a good, like, business venture? This is, like, the worst investment of all time. 
But we do have some pretty cool, like, I don't know, little areas over here. Areas I'd like to go visit one day. So let's leave. Uh, things are going to be extra expensive because due to the cold, get it? See how I tied that in? Due to the cold, supplies are in low uh, supply, I guess. And uh, they're not exactly the most gracious things. So, I don't know. But it's funny how things happen sometimes. So, Tektite, go away. Eat my butt, please. I know it'd be delicious. Why is there Deku nuts in there? Whatever. Anyway, uh, so it seems the small child has a plight, and uh, there are, we need to go save the Goron Elder from imminent death by trying to do something stupid. And I wonder, I kind of, hmm, there's a Deku scrub here that I would like to talk to, but I need 200 rupees to do it, and I almost had it up until I decided I wanted to do the, uh, the sword sharpening thing. So we'll be dealing with that in a hopefully a timely manner. And, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, pro tip, you can actually, uh, oh my god. <laughs> you can open the door yourself if you really feel like it. It's kind of funny, but. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I love controlling, uh, the Goron. It's so much cleaner than in the N64 version. Uh, except for the fact that you have to press the button again to get out of it. And Mr. Wolfos, there, you get one hit to your spine. And you're dead. You're dead, white Wolfos. I don't discriminate usually, but you're an asshole and I prefer you. Your black cousin, so just stop it. Actually, you know, while we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use a couple of bombs and uh, call it good. Hopefully, there's some rupees in here. If we could accumulate a lot of those, that would be lovely. So, you want to be careful because bombs actually don't detonate while they're underwater. Yeah, go, go figure, right? So, we'll just destroy everything in here. I don't even care that we're underground and we're blowing the hell out of the structural integrity of this small cove, but. 20 more rupees, that's nice. If there was 50 rupees around here, that'd be lovely. And I have no sword! I have no sword to speak of. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, see, it just like... Oh, where did my bomb go? Where did my, where did my bomb go? That's alright. And I need to re-equip my bottle. This is gonna be so much fun to edit, you guys. Oh man, I can't even... Oh, if you guys make Let's Plays, just think of how weird it would be to edit something like this. It takes kind of a lot of time, but I enjoy doing it for some reason. Like, the more as the project goes on, I'm kind of enjoying it, so call me weird, call me what you will, but I like it. So let's, oh my god, it's a cab crap, oh my god. Uh, how do you want me to kill you this time? <laughs> okay, this is how you want me to kill you then. There's no deco leaves around here, I can't do it the game flyer way. Okay, <laughs> he gives me one rupee. Oh, my troubles? Alright, none of these guys are going to give me anything worthwhile. There's random rupees though. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can actually just go around here. Oh, also, I think I started saying this, but you bounce off so much more. Like, you don't, like, like just fall into things. Like, you just will constantly keep going and keep going in circles. Alright, enough of that. Enough of this. I don't know. I'm in such a weird mood right now. I don't know if recording is the best idea, but we're going to go over here and we're going to free the Elder. Uh, he didn't get very far, and you know what? My I, my water, I keep forgetting. I'm surprised it didn't unsteam. But uh, the elder got really far, obviously. D are you fucking kidding me? Did I miss? God damn it! God damn it! Okay. Whew. Whoa, he's frozen solid. Wow, he's one ancient Goron, isn't he? All right, here. Don't miss, please. <sighs> that was disappointing. I love it when that happens. Anyway, he's still cold for some reason. You're a rock. You're not warm-blooded. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, oh, it's already this late! Ah, oh, I'm missing my soaps right now! So I know he has urgent business. Really? It's it's only midnight. And you just want to go and try and stop the world from turning? Be my guest. Oh, your dumb money! The exclamation points are strong within me! But you're supposed to be dead. God damn it, I already paid that hitman 100 rupees to do the job and he failed. <laughs> oh man. This is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Okay, okay. This is this is where I draw the line. Trying to stop natural forces at work is one thing, but claiming that it has magic powers? I guess that's just Gorons. <laughs> I've made a fool of. It's impossible. I refuse to flinch, but I will praise your giant breasts in my face. Alright, so anyway, he wants to save Goron Village so that he could protect his son. That makes a lot of sense. So anyway, 
He wants me to get out of his way, even though he has a snowball's chance and snowhead of getting the job done. What? My son is crying because he misses me? Tell me what else is new. He cries when I turn off baby Einstein's, for God's sake. Oh. My son misses me. <laughs> Oop! Forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. I have so many exclamation points and no place to use them all. Armani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination? I no longer care. For I am senile and I will be dead before the night is done. <laughs> anyway, please quietly sing my son to sleep with the song I'm about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Cool. Me and my stomach are very intrigued. <laughs> I can only remember the beginning. Hmm. All right. Oh. <laughs> Soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I've forgotten, it. it's just so cold that I can't play very well. Please give my regards to Robert Smith, please. I goddamn love that song. Alright, so now that we know the lullaby, there are many things we can do here. Can you give me 50 rupees? Can somebody give me 50 rupees? Because I'm doing everything all out of whack. I'll probably just go kill a Dodongo in the morning and do that that way. So that's all the um, stuff we'll need. Ooh, not again, not again. That's all the the hot water we're going to need for now. So let's get out of here. Let's leave. And out of the way. Out of the way, good sir. I can open this myself. There we go. <laughs> God, I love the little marks that the thing makes. Oh, my phone is going off. Why are you going off, my friend? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, YouTube. Somebody commented on a Mafia video. That is also happening. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that series because I'm actually having a lot of fun recording it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, now that we know the lullaby, we can put all this little baby boy to sleep. So let's do it, shall we? Whew. Whoops. I pressed the wrong... <laughs> yeah. That song, that's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. So wait, you're telling me the Goron Elder couldn't even remember the two note- Oh, never mind. 